so that's a really important part of what I see as a, a property, a, a feature of, of the agentic schools is their ability to change and respond to what is discovered in terms of, you know, what works, what doesn't, how does it change given who's here. And School Without Walls is an interesting position because it is embedded in a larger mainstream system. And like you said, you know, you had these state level stuff coming in and then having to respond and use use those bigger decision making, bigger processes, you know, courts and lawyers and, you know, forming a coalition with other schools in order to protect your essential nature as as a different kind of school than what the mainstream is. And so that's right. that's a really important thing to recognize and celebrate is that, you know, here's an example of a school that has taken agency not as far as some schools have, but certainly done it, taken it to a, a large degree within a bigger system that doesn't traditionally operate that way and, right. and maintaining that, that identity and the, that essential way of, of ensuring that everybody in the school, the way you described the, the initiation of it was, okay, somebody was the charismatic leader at the beginning, but what they did as a charismatic leader was to say, who can I bring in who shares a vision, shares, an, it shares a sensibility? I don't know if they remembered that you had applied b previously, <laughs> but <laughs> if they did, they knew that, you know, okay, this is a guy who at least shares it in some way and then, and then brought you in to, to, to take a position. Um, but it also, you know, it may be that, well, you also may have had a different experience in terms of just a larger system. So, so you're saying, you know, you were brought in in a context in which, okay, we have a struggle, and we need somebody who's like-minded, but we also need somebody who has a skill that addresses our need now. And so you were brought in to, to accomplish a specific you know, kind of task and did that and provided leadership through a longer process. But, but that's, I think, that's exactly what a dynamic system does. That's what a, mm -hmm. a, a you know, agency has to be both individual and collective. And it can look very different ways. And this is one of the things I challenge the, the democratic schools. I mean, you know, they're an extreme. They tend to be private because of how they really do operate democratic. I mean, some of them literally have children making, you know, hiring and firing decisions and budget, budget decisions and the whole thing. So, so it's interesting to say, okay, well, you don't have those same opportunities but you also have different opportunities because you know you can you started a school with 175 kids that's really impressive that's not something that happens in these other forms in fact most schools mm -hmm. aren't even that big and that's right. and i bet you're considered a small school <laughs> mm -hmm. i mean yeah. yeah so so i think it's really important to recognize that that the underlying way that we know it's working is based on self determination theory mm -hmm. is that we we can we can be confident that even though you your school without walls looks so different and is embedded in a very different context, but we can be confident that it's still accomplishing the same task, the same fundamental task, and that is supporting students to learn as deeply as possible, because we have this framework for looking at it and looking at it in a way that is specific to human nature, but also not specific to the cultural, administrative, legal structures within which your school is operating. Yeah. It's human, not organizational. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's an interesting it, way to put it, you know. It, it is, and it, it, it raises a number of questions. Just This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.